Hola, hola, hola. Hello, lovelies, and welcome back to video number two. Where we're going to be doing eyeshadow application. Since the videos usually for eyeshadow are a little bit more lengthier, I'm probably going to start and do one eye and then just stop and do the other eye. Just for time. So I'm going in with my concealer. Um, this is in light beige. And of course, I'm going to use the applicator from the, con the concealer. And I'm going to use that to basically line underneath my eyebrow. And then I'm going to fill it in. The colors I think I'm going to be using today are going to be uh, pink like maybe two shades of pink and black. Um, I usually try to match my makeup with what I'm wearing. So since I'm wearing the pink, kind of like gray, I think I could probably even incorporate grays, but I don't think I have any gray with me. I'm not at home, I'm actually in my second home. So I think what I'm gonna do is just my pinks and my blacks because I don't have everything with me. So I put my concealer on all over my lid, my eyelid. And then I'm gonna use my concealer brush just to smooth it out. But then I'm gonna use my blending bud blend it out. I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy with this eye look, not like last week. Um, just because I really don't have everything with me. And I'm going to try to keep it simple. We, you know, we can't do um, complicated looks all the time. We just don't have the time for it, right? So, those looks are good sometimes when you have the time, but not all the time. So I think I'm going to try to keep it a little less complicated today. We're not doing any fancy stuff. Nothing fancy schmancy today. So yeah, going back to women who have started businesses in their 30s, 40s, 50s. You may have something that someone needs. It could be baking, starting your baking business. What's great is that you have social media now where you're able to post, where you're able to get clients. You don't have to do that knocking from door to door social media is what you have is your advertising and word of mouth of course you definitely always want word of mouth because that's what expands your business but social media right now just helps so much so if you're if that's something that you're thinking about I would encourage you to Think outside the box and try not to be fearful of the unknown or what may not happen. You, thinking that you may not succeed even before you even start. I say just go for it because you just never know. You could be the next Betty Crocker. You could be the next Mary Kay. You could be the next Martha Stewart. I mean... The possibilities are endless. What I'm saying and I'm trying to encourage you to do is don't stop what you need to do. You're dreaming, um, your what, whatever it is that you're thinking that you want to do, I'm encouraging you to not stop. Don't paralyze yourself by thinking. Freezing yourself by thinking something that's not gonna happen. It's, oh, it's never gonna happen. I'm too old, I can't start. Who's gonna listen to me? 
Those are all negative thoughts. You need to keep that out of your mind. Because if you keep on thinking like that, you will never, ever move ahead and succeed. So you have to get out of that mindset. This is actually the crease brush and I'm going in, I'm using my Glam Up eye palette, beautiful colors. You can actually get this at my store. So I'm going to be using Dusty Rose with the crease brush and I'm gonna be applying it in the crease. For those of you who don't know what the crease is, it's the indentation in your eye that is your crease, okay? So you're gonna apply your brush there and you're just gonna apply this eyeshadow right on the crease. And you wanna go a little higher, especially if you have hooded eyes, you just wanna go a little bit higher. kind of like a half moon and then you're bringing it down that imaginary line of your eye the ending of your eyebrow to the end of your eyelid it's kind of like your imaginary line so you want to go down and just fill that in this is going to be a real simple look and this is something that you can do by practicing at home. Remember, practice makes perfect. Nobody know, nobody's born knowing how to do makeup. Makeup, well, not everybody, some people are, because it's kind of like, like an artist, right? You see an artist and you see their work. Some people are just born with it. Some people have to practice. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with, this color is called Reina, Reina, which is queen. And I am going to be using actually, um, I'm going to be using the same brush. She used the brush. And I'm going to grab that color, which is kind of like a shimmer, and I'm going to put it on the on my inner eye. Um, and I'm going to just try to dab it on there. I'm not going to try to like move it around too much. And I'm going from the crease down. I'm not passing the crease. And I'm doing like most of the eye, but I'm leaving the corner because that's where I'm gonna put more color to add depth. So I'm gonna add a little bit more color to that. It's a real pretty color, it's a real pretty shimmer. Simple, simple look. Okay, and then I'm gonna go, look at that, very pretty. Then I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna use a darker color. This one is called En Fuego, on fire. And I'm gonna use the blending brush that comes from the set from my store, you can, it's a pro brush set. So I'm gonna grab that color with my blending brush and I'm gonna add it 
to the corner, going inward. And just bring it in a little, just to give it that extra color, uh, extra depth to it. Just bringing it a little, not too much. I'm doing a V at the corner, but I'm not putting it all the way down. Then I'm going to go in with, I'm actually, I have to clean the brush. I hope I bought it with me. I think I did. Okay. This you can get at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, anywhere. Basically, you just use the brush and it just takes off the eyeshadow. So that way you can use another eyeshadow, another color. So I'm going to take a little bit of that black. This one is called um, Noir. N O I R. colors. So I'm going to take a little bit of that black with the blending brush. Remember, with dark colors, you start off very lightly and you go applying. You don't take a lot of it and then put it on. You take very little and then you apply. So we're taking a little bit and we just very lightly adding that black color to the corner. I'm bringing in it a little. Just to give it that definition. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So you're doing a V. You're going in circular motions in the corner, inward. That's how you get that look. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to finish the other eye, and I'll be back to show you the look with both eyes done. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did the other eye, and this is the final look. I used four colors, and I used my Glam up palette that you can find on my store and I use this color, this color, this color, this color, this color, this color. Come back tomorrow we're gonna finish the look.